Hello and welcome to the channel. The $800 million loan President Buhari has collected as palliatives for the removal of fuel subsidy will not be spent by the President, a member of the House of Representatives, as assured. With just over a week to go, President Buhari is fighting tooth and nail to be able to spend a humongous sum of money for the purpose for which it was collected. How convenient. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. We won't allow Buhari's government spend $800 million loan. Rep. A member of the House of Representatives Committee on Loans, Aid and Debt Management, Dr. Abubakar Yunusa Ahmad, has said in spite of the approval given to the President Muhammadu Buhari's administration to take on $800 million loan, the lawmakers will not allow the outgoing government to spend the money. He said the House had given the caveat to the President in approving the loan. Speaking on a breakfast television show in Channel's television monitored in Abuja, Ahmad said the lawmakers have a means of ensuring that the Buhari administration adheres to the conditions it attached to the loan approval. He said, on the $800 million, we engaged in consultations and we advised them, the federal government, to leave this thing to the incoming government, but since the loan has been granted, we can't collect, but we cannot use it. Maybe when the next government comes in, they might have a different approach to issues. We have read in the social media that they intend not to retain any of Buhari's ministers because they have rated them to underperform. Yes, we have granted that loan. It has been approved and we want Nigeria to take it, but it is not going to be utilized by this outgoing government. When the next government comes, they can decide on what to do with the loan. On Nigeria's debt profile, he described it as baffling, saying the House of Reps members had reasons not to approve the 22.7 trillion naira ways and means requested by President Buhari. Our debt profile is baffling. That is why we declined the 22.7 million naira ways and means, even though the Senate has granted the request. Those of us in the House of Representatives raised a lot of questions, and the request has not yet been attended to. There are things I can't say because I don't want to open the can of worms, but I hope people understand this language of ways and means. In a nutshell, it means printing currency. First, Nigeria's high debt profile. Nigeria has the capacity to pay. It is the intention of the APC government under Buhari. The infrastructure they put, the railway they built, if utilized properly, within one or two years, they would have generated the money to pay back the loans. Our problem is lack of patriotism. When the government comes up with an initiative, along the line you have people who will engage in what I will refer to administrative stupidity to frustrate it. If a Jakuta which remains 3% to complete and the railway would work effectively, I tell you that within 5 to 10 years, the situation of this country will change. Despite allocating huge resources to the health sector, Nigerian leaders, meanwhile, despite allocating huge resources to the health sector, Nigerian leaders and politicians have continued their mistrust for the sector by abandoning it to rot while flying abroad to treat the commonest of ailments at taxpayers' expense in what stakeholders have described as medical tourism. The health sector, like other major sectors in the country, has continued to suffer ups and downs, including industrial actions, low funding, and low access to basic health care facilities among poor Nigerians. The Nigeria Association of Resident Doctors, the umbrella body of doctors undergoing residency, announced the commencement of a five-day warning strike on Wednesday, May 17, 2023. The strike, which has grounded activities in government-owned hospitals, and health facilities has left poor citizens who cannot afford treatment in private health facilities stranded. This is not the first time doctors and other categories of health workers will embark on strike in the life of the regime of the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired. In 2016, NAD, under the leadership of the then national president, Dr. Muhammad Askira, embarked on an 18-day strike. 
In 2017, the association under the leadership of Dr. John Onye Boise again went on strike. The strike, which commenced on September 4, was suspended on September 17. In 2020, NARD members under the leadership of Dr. Ali Yusokomba again embarked on a one-week nationwide strike on June 15 over the disagreement of 26 resident doctors at the Joss University Teaching Hospital, salary courts and issues surrounding the medical residency training fund. The strike was eventually called off on June 22. A year later, NARD initially embarked on a 10-day strike from April 1 to 10, 2021. Later in July of the same year, the association proceeded on a 60-day strike. While the strikes persist, Buhari and his wife Aisha and their son, as well as the incoming president Bola Tinubu and the consensus candidate of the Hull Progressives Congress to become the Senate president in the 10th National Assembly, Godswill Akbabiu, among other prominent politicians, continue to enjoy seamless health care in hospitals abroad. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Some of the benefiting countries of medical tourism by Nigerian politicians include the United Kingdom, the United States of America, France, and India. Though the amount spent by the politicians on medical tourism could not be obtained by our correspondent as of the time of filing this report, the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority in 2021 said citizens spend an average of $1 billion annually on medical tourism for a range of health care needs across four key specialties of oncology, orthopedics, nephrology, and cardiology. In May 2019, Sergius Ose Ogun, a member of the House of Representatives, sponsored a bill seeking to prevent public officials from seeking medical treatment abroad. Before he was sworn in as president eight years ago, Buhari, whose mantra was change, visited the Chatham House in London in 2015 where he said, what is the difference between me and those who elected us to represent them? Absolutely nothing. Why should the Nigerian president not fly with other Nigerian public? Why do I need to embark on foreign trip as a president with a huge crowd with public funds? Why do I need to go for foreign medical trip if we cannot make our hospitals functional? Why do we need to send our children to school abroad if we cannot develop our universities to compete with foreign ones? Eight months after assuming office in February 2016, Buhari embarked on a medical trip to the UK where he spent a total of six days. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.